Uh, this video is going to be a little, well, at least it seems to me to be a little ominous because I'm st it's aiming up at me and it's all red. My apologies in advance, but I'm just going to try it out. I've been thinking about... <sighs> take a piss while I'm talking. Creating your future. Creating your own reality. You're doing it with your words, and it's now more evident than it ever was before. Things are good. You can actually go out of your way to create a better future. By saying it, planting the seeds of your DNA, you give your DNA something to resonate with, behavior, thought program. Things are great, and they actually are great. And when you can back it up or verify it with facts, like progressive facts, like science, we're more unified than we ever were. People can call each other up on the phone, which changed everything. Call each other up on video and get over a problem they have. And the opportunity to unify is so great that 20, 30 years ago, it was hard to get your point across. Now it's easy, and it's easier than it's ever been. Facebook video, Facebook Connect, you make a video, you upload it instantly, you have a link, you click it, you move it to the place. I mean, sharing everything. So what's going to happen is up to you. It's up to me. But I'm okay talking to you as if I'm talking to myself. You have to decide what you want, which for me I want a better future. I feel like I see moisture farms in deserts where people have luscious crops and lifestyles where they're living in peace all over the universe. Okay. So I ate a bunch of Pizza Hut cheese and bread and sauce and I can feel pain my stomach is in pain um, because it's all in there my intestines everything's squeezing it's a little sore whatever the nutrition's not there maybe certain nutrients numb the pain and I know that because of that the information that I'm offering is tainted by the food in my system or it's altered by the food in my system but that doesn't change the fact that I believe it or it doesn't change what I believe. Maybe it slightly changes it, but not enough for me to forget. I remember. You create your reality. We say good things, and it makes things better. You lay the groundwork, the path of your future. We can do it. We are enabled. We do whatever we want. Within unity, together. In our dreams, in our life, you procreate. It's good. Good information. Travels fast and far. I think we're going to be okay. And I believe it. So as we unify, we create giant mirrors that orbit the earth. And produce inflectory responses i.e. our ability to remove asteroids from our path. Probably hyper-advance the electromagnetic frequency through mirroring. Does that make sense to you? Because I see you hit one mirror and then bounce back and then just bounce between each other and get super fast until it produces an inflection. Yeah, you'll get there. You don't need to understand what I'm talking about, but hopefully that visual helped. People are phenomenal. I think people like adversity. I like adversity. I like a challenge. Not always, but often. It makes me better. It makes me stronger. It makes it worth living. It makes success more valuable.
for some reason because it's the journey that's important, not the destination, or the journey is more important than the destination, which is also important, but the journey is what's important. So was it challenging to get where you got? That's the important thing. That's what really changes you is a belief. And maybe sometimes you just want it to be easy. And that's okay. And when other people want it to be challenging and you want it to be easy, you've got to figure out how to make it easy while it's challenging for other people and not feel guilty about that. Because it's okay to take it easy. It really is okay to take it easy. But the challenge is innate in all of us. We challenge ourselves against gravity. We're constantly restricted by gravity, like controlling this formula. (sighs) That challenge is overcome daily basis. The challenge of Donald Trump as president to so many that experienced it as a challenge. The challenge to stay calm, to understand each other, to see the other person from your perspective and vice versa. Understand what he's going through. Yeah, let it go. Understand. You understand. We all do. It's easy. It's the easiest thing to do. Empathize. We're built for it. Empathy machines. So I understand the challenge of not wanting to get it instantly. How boring would that be if we were all like, yeah, okay. We got it. Let's move on. The challenge. It's understandable. Sometimes you just got to take it easy. I think now's the time to take it easy because we're all on the right path. Everybody wants world peace. Stability for tomorrow. This simple little globe needs peace. Each human mind doing its constrictive thing. Earth organism as a whole wants to be believed. Let it be. Let the earth do its thing and play along. Be cool. It wants to heal and resonate itself. This gives off this resonating frequency of healing, and it wants to do that all the time and control the environment and deflect asteroids with this electromagnetic frequency. It wants to do that. That's what it's supposed to do. So you have to let it. By clearing your mind, not overtaking it, but letting it be, it's okay. It's similar to getting along with other people. You want to resonate at their frequency so that you can become part of their show. And it's super important that you can do that and that you do that. Your frequency is awesome too, and there will be a time for it.